the the effects that the restaurant industry are going to have on this economy in the next coming years are just going to oh, it's be huge. It's huge, man. Um, public assistance is going to go through the roof. Yeah, yeah. And and that's because we're able to employ certain people. There, certain corporations have certain guidelines. Mm-hmm. You have this on a record. We can't hire you. Mm-hmm. In our industry, we look at everybody as a second chance. We kind of look at ourselves as a misfit crew. You know, as long has, as has it always been like that in the restaurant it has industry. Been. Yes. Is there any particular reason to that? Um, I just think it's it's the industry that. I don't, you know, it's not an easy job, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. you get burnt ovens, you you know, you're, it's, it's a hundred degrees outside and the dish room's 115. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's a really fast paced job. So if Mm -hmm. you can, if you have the skill set to have a good attitude and do, to do that, we welcome anybody into that. Sure. Um, and we're sort of like a family of misfits in a sense, like, you know, if you if you were to lose, you were an engineer and you were to lose your job, we would accept you in a restaurant industry. Are you willing to show up? Mm-hmm. Are you willing to work hard? Okay. We don't care if you're an engineer, what background you came mm-hmm. from. Mm-hmm. We just, we come together as a collective and we serve the public. And, it, that's, and right. that's the one thing that's been, you know, as you looked like all through the years, last 20, 30 years, there's been a drug and alcohol problem in our industry, like crazy. But even as a restaurant industry, as owners, we've looked at it like, okay, we're going to help clean this up. We're going to help to fix some of the issues that our industry, because, sure. you know, we look at a lot of the times we're done at 11, 12, one o'clock in the morning on the weekends. Well, if you work the nine to five job, you're going to come home, you're going to do whatever you do and you're going to wind down. Mm-hmm. Well, our industry we want to do the same thing, but it's at one o'clock in the morning. So what is there to do at one o'clock in the right. morning? I'm sure your adrenaline might still be going too from 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 a rush of oh. serving meals for five hours. Like. Absolutely. So then by the time we clean up, it's 11, 1130 in a normal restaurant. You're wired, you're amped, your adrenaline. And you have that normal wind down period that anybody else would have. Maybe you come home and play with your kids, but unfortunately my kids are sleeping. I want to do something, and I'm, the only thing that's open at that time of the night is the bar. Right. So everybody leaves the restaurant, goes to the bar, they drink till two in the morning, they go, they sleep, they come back in, and they do it again. So just by the nature of our hours, th- a lot of them have developed alcohol issues. Mm-hmm. So as, as a as a you know industry, we've looked at that and said, hey, how can we help that? Mm-hmm. You know, what can we do to to make it uh, bring awareness to that. So we're just, you know, we're, we're a true family in that sense. I can't tell you how many people that has left the restaurant on bad terms, whether they just didn't show up or whatever, come back to me a month later, said, Hey, I made a mistake. Mm. I really want to come back. Come on back. And they'll do it to you again. Right. But you just understand that who, you know, the kind of the people that are willing to do the job. Sure. It's equivalent to probably digging a ditch. It's not a fun job. It's dirty. It's, it's not, hot. It's not, it's, it's not sexy. Like it's you're not just glamorous. Right. It's, yeah. yeah. And there's a very small segment that's willing to do that. But it also takes a, an admirable skill set to be able to, you know, to, to pull all that together. Mm-hmm. And that's the yeah. same thing. You know, like my day today will look like at 2 o'clock I'll show up to the restaurant. We'll prep for four hours to get ready for six o'clock at six o'clock. Everybody's going to rush in from six to eight 30. We're going to make all of our money. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to from eight 30 to 10 30. We're going to clean up the mess. And then we're going to come in and do it all over again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that's what our day looks like that, that we call it being in the weeds mm-hmm. and you know, everybody eats dinner between six and eight 30, right? No matter how much you try to get them to spread that out, mm-hmm. no six to eight 30. Mm-hmm. So we're going to mm-hmm. serve 50, 60 guests between eight, it's six and eight thirty, right? And that's that's a rush. Is there something too about food that brings your staff together? Because obviously, so again, you and I are both Italian. Food's mm-hmm. been a bit, big part of our lives. Food brought my family together every Sunday. Didn't matter if you didn't see each other each other during the week. You're you're seeing each other on Sunday. Food brings you together. Does it do the same for the staff? Like you talk about, it, you become a family. Is it, it because you're centered around food? I think it's just because. We we acknowledge that there's a lot of spare parts that are put together to run a restaurant. Yeah. But when we put those spare parts together, we run like a well-oiled machine. Yeah. And I think that's the camaraderie behind it is we come from all different backgrounds, walks of life, education levels, income levels. Right. But when you put that together and everybody's in the middle of that doing their job, you, you the outsider would look at it and say, wow, 
that's a well-trained, well-oiled mm-hmm. team. And in our minds, we know, you know, we've got a couple broken springs, <laughs> the hydraulics <laughs> leaking, but we're, we're every day. Yeah. It's a new, that's the beauty. That's what tracks me to the restaurant. It's a never the same issue ever again. You know, you deal with one issue and then it's another one. And there's just a lot of different moving parts and every day is different. 